So I've had a few people send me this article because it's called Female Entrepreneurs Celebrating a New Networking Group. Women set to showcase their skills. I don't know if they've actually read beyond the headline, and it's okay, we all don't sometimes. You know, we see something, we think, ah, we know what that's going to be about. And then we send it to someone that we think will find it funny. But th this one just seems to be entirely positive to me. I don't see the problem with this. And I think it's... I think it might be based on a misconception of Swindon, frankly, but um, it's from the local paper, the Swindon Advertiser. The best of Swindon's female entrepreneurs will showcase their skills at an event celebrating successful women. Six entrepreneurs are behind the celebration of women networking idea. From all different professions and backgrounds, they've come together to share their knowledge and abilities to create a group like no other. They will give talented female businesswomen a support system that offers them the opportunity to develop and grow in their industries. I don't see a problem with that. I think that people should be able to freely associate like this. And I think that if men decided to want to set up a men's one, then they should be allowed to do that too. I mean, it's just a private group. I don't think that that's, that's a problem, really. I don't think this is necessarily like a, an evil manifestation of identity politics. I just think this is people who have a particular feeling about things. Like, I'm not against women-only gyms and stuff like that. If if people want women-only gyms, then let the market decide. That's how I feel about it. But I also don't think that they should shut down men's clubs or force them to allow in people they don't want to allow them in, you know, the working men's clubs. So I don't have a problem with this. I think this is fine. And the thing is, Swindon is not a particularly progressive or, as I, would, I guess I would describe as regressive place. It, it is actually remarkably liberal in its outlook and very much like... The people here tend to think more along the lines of you work hard, you get your just rewards than so someone's holding you down, everyone's bigoted, the entire world's racist and sexist, and you're a victim. Uh, there isn't much of a victim mentality here, and that's honestly one of the reasons I really like it. People are people are a lot more self-confident in that way. They, and I think that it's always good to celebrate entrepreneurship. As they say here, working for yourself can be tough, and so this will give others the opportunity to share experiences, offer advice, and gain confidence, and we want to celebrate these talented women of Swindon. So there's no, no negativity about that. They're not saying, oh, men are X, when framing what they're doing. They just want to see it as a positive celebration of, apparently in this case, women, and there's nothing wrong with that. The idea came from, behind the, from the concept, but came from... The idea behind the concept came from Emma using her design skills to revamp the home of one of her clients. It was when she, they got talking about each other's professions, they realised they both know and knew some amazing women in the lifestyle industry. It was then they decided they want to celebrate these talents. No problem with that at all. Among the professions on the show, the first session would be personal trainers, uh, photographers, florist, designer, successful bar and cafe owner. We are all women who have our own lives but manage to juggle every day with our passions and with our own passions for what we do. Some of us have made these passions into full-time jobs, others fitted in with our jobs. See, there's, this is why I love entrepreneurship. I love watching people actually getting out in the world, making a difference and doing something they genuinely love. I mean, I'm an entrepreneur. I genu genuinely love what I do. And it, it is scary, frankly. And, you, you know, often I can see the need for a support group. And I can even see the argument that, you know, a support group for women by women would be more responsive to women's needs. Which is why I think things like working men's clubs existed. And as women go into the workforce, I don't see why working women's clubs shouldn't exist. You know, I, I've got absolutely no problem with that. I think it's perfectly fine for people to be able to self um, self-associate in these ways. And I, I just don't see how anyone can object to that. It seems it seems progressive and illiberal to force a group that has a particular kind of clientele to accept another kind of clientele just because it would be ideologically correct for the progressive. And I really don't want to force that on people. So, like, yeah, so with this, this seems great to me. And if you're a, a, an entrepreneurial woman in Swindon, I'd definitely recommend giving them a look. I'm sure there are going to be people who can help you and give you some inspiration from your particular point of view. And at the bottom it says here, the group wants to highlight that Swindon is, uh, they says should be overlooked, but they, I think they mean is often overlooked when it comes to entrepreneurs, as they believe some people have negative preconceptions compared to other areas such as Bath and Bristol. And that's true. Uh, Swindon does have a, a kind of negative preconception, generally, in fact. And it's kind of sad, because Swindon's a bit of a boom town, really, because it's on the uh, direct line to London, and so it's only an hour away from London. So traveling is really convenient in that way if only the trains were a bit better then it would be really really good if they're a bit better and cheaper but that's a different different problem but um but there is very much an entrepreneurial attitude towards swindon people in swindon like they they think that they should be the one doing things rather than expecting the government to do things for them 
by and large, obviously that's a broad statement, but that's generally the attitude that I get from like the you know my friends, family, and just the people around. It's it's very can do, and I think that's very good, and I think it's definitely something that should be encouraged. So um, Godspeed to the uh, entrepreneurial ladies of Swindon. I hope you I hope you make everything that you intend to make.